I haven't got time to mark this motherfucker. Here we go again. We can't hear anybody. Nobody can talk to anybody. You guessed Pressure Points with your two favorite hosts. I'm Dean. This is my emo dark boy, AJ. We're coming at you with Season 5, Episode 13, Satan's Christmas Party. It's an AJ episode, and it's not on World War II or kid raping. We did it! Find us on Instagram and Twitter at Points of Pressure. Well, turn the fucking thing off, you dumbass. I'm pretty sure you're not <laughs> allowed to call me a dark boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a slur. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, probably. Mm, it's fine. It's, we'll just get kicked off It was off Emo Google. Dark. Emo Dark. Oh, Emo Dark. Boy. Space <laughs> B-O-I. Yeah, there's yeah. a hyphen between Emo oh, and Dark. good. Okay, we're good then. We're fine. Damn, I get I get Dark Boy and Kid raping in the intro. <laughs> in the intro? It's going to be a fucking good episode, <laughs> We're going to turn away all our new subscribers. Yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome yeah. back. It's fucking Monday. It, we're here. It is. Monday for you. Yeah, behind on homework is all. Yeah, uh, we also have a very big announcement to make at the start or the end of the episode. I'll do the start. Okay, take it away. What? What? Our giveaway. Did you buy We're the announcing Kava? it today? No, I didn't. What were, were we gonna have it today? Yes. No, we weren't. I was gonna. I wanted to. Oh, it wouldn't have gotten here today. That yeah. was a Friday night. Yeah, you had one day shipping. It would have shown up on Saturday. I would have paid more for the shipping than I would I have, have for Prime. the Kava. It wasn't on Amazon. Oh, yeah, I found it on, it on some, Amazon. Some weird site. Should have bought it. I didn't have any money because you didn't pay me back. I know. I still needed. I'm still waiting need, for that. I need to pull that out of PayPal and send it over. Bastard. Um, yeah, so, yeah, our giveaway, giveaway. It's all done. So, thank you all who participated. Yeah. Fuck you. you if you didn't. Yeah. We're to looking the, at the third person. To in those of our That's Patreons so that we know didn't participate. Oh, we saw the list. We saw the list of people that signed up. And if we didn't see your name and you're paying us monthly, well, thank you for paying us. I appreciate but fuck that. fuck you for not signing up when we told you to. <laughs> no, actually, we had more people <laughs> sign up this one than we had in the first one. The first giveaway we did like two years ago. And, uh, you know, so thanks. Yeah. Thanks for uh, this up. is, it was more than the three people that signed up last time. <laughs> the first time. one, yeah. More than the three winners that won last time. So thank yeah. you. So the winners, oh, that probably sounds horrible. It probably isn't going to go through. No, I, I see it in the waveform it's in. So I should have gotten got, a fucking tune for this. Now announce them. I don't know. You have the names written down. Oh, yeah, that's me. So our first winner. <laughs> our first winner is yours truly, me, No, sucka. fuck you. <laughs> it's Nordic Thunder. Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. You're paying us every month, so we figured, <laughs> you know, I guess we'll just give back. No, we chose them randomly. Uh, so thank you, Nordic Thunder, for signing up. And anyone else on Patreon that didn't sign up? This could have been you. It could have been you. This could be you. And then second person? This could be you, but you plan. Second person, Thomas from New York City, baby. Thank you again for signing up. And yeah. then the third person, Ronnie. Congratulations. Probably, I'm going to be really pissed <laughs> off if he doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> He's, you're going to see him tonight, aren't you? No. No. Oh. Okay, well, never mind. No, but Ronnie, you won. Congrats, Ronnie. Uh, Thank you for signing up. Learn how to use up. the internet, you grandpa. He did. He, si he signed he did? up. Yeah. His first time using it, actually. <laughs> Great job. Uh, it only took 85 years, and we are so proud of him. We really are. We both had to walk him through how to do it twice. Mm -hmm. But you did it, Ronnie. All right, yeah. I'm so we'll, proud. next payday, which is in like a week, it, less than a week, <laughs> we're going to pack all this shit up yeah. and send it out. So, you know, expect that in the mail in the next little bit. Yeah, we'll get it sent out, like, about a week from now. Sick. Sweet. So, how was now your Now for the Bosnian War. Just yeah. kidding. That's how, not what I'm talking about. How was your week? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, That's... my grandmother's in the hospital. Yeah, I, I know. So I'm it wasn't sorry, wasn't fantastic, not but great one. she's doing better. Good. Not bad. 
I'm behind in my homework. Figures. But I got a day off of work. That's good. Like this week, or you already took yesterday. One off? Oh, oh, that's right. You mean Friday? Yes. That's fine. Also, went to a missile test site in the middle of the desert. That's to escape kind of from what my I problems. was. That's what I was waiting for. That's what you were like, prompting. I don't want to prompt him. I don't know if he wants to talk about it, but. Yeah, so that was super cool. Got some. I bought a drone. Yeah, and I coerced him into spending only twenty five more dollars for an app, Ugh, so that it can follow him. Don't tell me about. And that. it was worth it <sighs> because you made one of the coolest well, shots. It'll I've be seen. worth it once I sell some of the following footage for twenty five dollars. Hey, there you go. But yeah, I finally finished paying off my monthly payment for my iPad for that I use for this show. <laughs> And school and everything. You were a monthly. I you yeah, thought. I got it from Back Market. Oh, I see. So I mean, I mean it was a really it, it was a low works. payment, and yeah. this drone is not very pricey, so it's also a low payment. But you know, hey, if it works, man. Hey, go perpetual for it. debt. Yeah, the people in the twenties did that, and that paid off entirely. They had no problems with easy it. easy peasy. Oh yeah, but I don't think I'll have to worry about being in debt for too much longer. Yeah. Because we got a second chairperson of the PP. Shit, we did. We'll talk about it at the end of the episode when we announce our patrons. Well, yeah, but yeah, I'm just super excited. So thanks. Yes. So thank you, everyone on Patreon. Of course. That supports us. We always thank you. But again, yeah, we, we really, really do, do appreciate, appreciate it. it. Like, Jinx. Aw. Yo, me, Sodi. How was your week? Uh, I didn't do fuck all, so it was good. Nice. It's a pretty standard go-to for Mr. D is I work Monday through Friday, and then when I'm off, I wallow in sadness while staring at my computer screen, which helps me avoid wallowing in sadness. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm off, and I have 24 hours each day to wallow in sadness. So it's great. No, I didn't really do much this week, and it was really fucking nice. I didn't have to go see my shitty family. Nice. Um, I didn't have to see my dumb, fucking, worthless younger brother. Piece of shit. He's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking asshole. Honestly, if I could hit him with a car and get away with it, I would do it. That's what my next episode's going to be on, is murdering my littlest bro- brother. <laughs> I'll cut this out so that, in post, I'll cut this out so that when you eventually do it, this isn't evidence. Yeah. We're short a patron. This <laughs> <laughs> No, hey, uh, on an unrelated note, make sure your Patreon is set to auto renew. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so, yeah. so yeah, Abby, how was how was your week? You do anything fun? Oh God, <clears throat> no. Wait. All right, there you have it. There's our guest in studio patron. Yeah, in the studio patron. Abby, who puts her full name on the patron, so I almost say it every time. Yeah, good for you. All right, well, what you got for me <laughs> All this right, week? well, so I really wanted to call this episode Fuck Salem. I mean... That's amazing. We could have. But it's getting there. You'll see why. I really could have. I can go back and change it. Yeah, no, no, you can't. That requires <laughs> me to edit something, and you, we both know I'm not going to do that. So, basically, America has this hard-on for the Salem witch trials, especially mm-hmm. on the East Coast. There's so much, like... Ooh, this horrible stuff happens, but let's not remember, you know, the torture. Let's just dress up as witches and do a parade. Let's go get candy. Let's get yeah, candy like, about it. It's yeah. very much marginalized, the actual okay. pain, damage, you, and suffering. Are you referring to the idea that Americans are becoming desensitized to some kind of violence, whether it be in public or in a school, or I would this, say all. This violence. is throughout our entire history of a country. Weirdly what? enough, what? <laughs> Weirdly enough, it's impossible. No, yeah. So that would never happen. So in the Salem witch trials, nineteen women were executed for being witches. Uh huh. In the witch trials I'm going to be covering today, ninety were, which means Salem ain't shit. Nice. Hell so, yeah. Fuck Salem. Let's yeah. celebrate. Uh, let's be sad about this one instead. So I'm going to talk about... As long as I get to trick-or-treat twice about it, sign me up. Just twice? Yeah. You could. You have a lot more negotiating power. You could... No, you know, I'm that. only allowed to go to oh, two, okay, yeah, two doors every Halloween. Yeah, but you know the right ones. And I have to... Because I found have, them on a list on the internet. Yeah, they find me and I have to, hi, this is your next door neighbor. I'm here to get candy and not your children this time, I promise. All right, so... <clears throat> Christmas Eve in 1617, 
in Finnmark, which is northern Norway. Finnmark? Finnmark. Okay. Also, there's a lot of names in here, and I love Norwegian names because they sound yeah. so badass. But when I say them, they, it sounds like I'm choking. Real quick, Norway sucks. No, you shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> All right, so there was this huge storm in, in, uh, in 1917, and... Uh, I yeah. wish we had big Christmas Eve storms still. Same. It never happens now. No, it's just like dry. Now we just there's get no August snow. tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck hurricanes. That. I need to secure my roof. Oh my but God. yeah, there's this huge storm where it was said that the sea and the sky became one and it was out of nowhere. And the majority of the men in this area were out on sea during this time period and like 10 ships and boats sank and nice. 40 dudes drowned. Which was that's a that's a pretty big chunk for this for this area. Hell yeah. Nothing like a nice Male population culling. Exactly. Am I right, Am ladies? I right? As long as I'm the one on the shore, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's it for nineteen or for sixteen seventeen. That's everything All that right. happened in this episode. So sixteen twenty one, we're going to uh, Vardo, specifically okay. the fortress of Vardohus. Okay, so Vardohus. Yeah. So this lady Marie Jorgen's daughter. Hey, hey. Jorgen's daughter. I don't nice. know. Nice. It's almost as bad as Jorgensen. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Um, she uh, was tortured during interrogation because she was suspected of being a witch. Oh, God. Uh, under torture, okay. she yeah. claimed. What would they do? Um, I'll tell you later. What'd they do? What'd they do? Uh, <laughs> so she, she claimed that Satan came to her, uh, came to her house, knocked on the door. In Christmas 1620. This is a Christmas episode, by the way. And asked her to follow him to her neighbor Kirsty's house. This is a Christmas episode. <laughs> we didn't do this last year. No, yeah. We did one, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. So it's more, it's more than 24 hours ago. I don't remember. Yeah. So her and her and Satan, she and Satan, walk over, knock on the neighbor's door. <laughs> and this isn't hypothetical. This is... No, this is, this is, this is what happened. Yeah. This is what she reported happened. Satan asked her to serve and be a witch and she said yes so he did what Satan always does and gave her the witch's brand which is biting between the fingers of the left hand nya, 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 nya. That, that's the witch's brand so that so that she can put her finger up like a little mustache <laughs> yeah yeah but it's, bite, it's Satan's <laughs> pearly whites and so then Kirsty and before he left he turned and said what that thing do <laughs> show me what that <laughs> show me what that thing do. do yeah so Kirsty then invited Marie to join her at a Christmas party in Bergen the only problem is Bergen is about 1600 kilometers away whoa so that's like that's a, 700 feet uh, mi miles years yeah <laughs> uh, this this is for anybody who has more than two brain cells <laughs> Who used the? Uh, I don't have. I don't have my system. laptop in front of me for the fucking conversion chart. Okay, okay. Oh, it's your you it's happy? your fault for using the imperial system. <laughs> so they did what any good witches would do, and Kirsty threw a fox skin over Mary, and which then transformed her into a fox. Oh, which you can go sixteen hundred kilometers way faster as a fox. Well, they they then they flew together. Because foxes can fly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And they flew all the way to Bergen, and they saw a ton of other women and two dudes also transforming into different animals and flying to Bergen. Because it's going to be a banger. It's a Fuck rager. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve, baby. Oh, yeah. So they, they partied all night with good old Beezlebub and just... <laughs> <laughs> Beezlebub. They drank. They had booze and beer and they wine. They cast so many spells. Ate a whole bunch of stuff. They probably they fucked. They were fucking everybody. It was probably an orgy. Everyone was know, Satan. fucking pussy and dick out. Oh, yeah. It was a good time. It was a great time. And then they were like, shit, we gotta get home fast because yeah, it's you got Sabbath. Presents. You gotta go to church. You got presents no, to open the next No, morning. you go to church. <laughs> that, it's the 1600s. <laughs> so you, they, got, you got fucking midnight mass, bro. So they all turn back into animals and fly back, except Kirsty. She says... 
eh, I'm just going to take a boat back. I got to go no. stop, visit some family. The actual man. story goes that she fucked up and she didn't turn into a regular red fox. She turned into an Arctic fox, which everyone knows Arctic foxes they can't, can't fly. fly. Yeah. So it took her forever to get back. Yeah, no. So she sh- <laughs> she hopped on a boat. <laughs> and this is, uh, you know, this is in the spring after this party. So a okay. mm, month or two later, maybe. This is when she finally got there. Is when Mary was tortured. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit, never mind. So Mary then confessed that witches had caused the storm that I mentioned in the beginning in 1617. Yeah, because they were flying around. They were fucking up the atmosphere. They they said they wanted to... They were a bunch of, like, <laughs> neighborhood conflicts, they said. So, like, people just, you know, being assholes to each other was worth causing a huge storm, killing a bunch of people. Um, and then she always admitted that... Or then she confessed that... The witches loved it when their husbands were away on the boats, because that'll give them more time to suck and fuck the demons. Bada bing! Beazelbub! I was hoping there was a pun with that. No, I just like saying it. So then another lady came forward. Okay. Well, I shouldn't say came forward. Was tortured. (laughs) Was was pulled from the depths of society forward. Elsa uh, Nudstader. That's getting there. Uh, She was also tortured. And then confessed that the storm was created by tying a rope three times, and then all the witches spit on it. <laughs> and then they untied it. Spit on that fucking rope. The reason she was brought dirty in for question- witch, questioning <laughs> was because she was seen in the company of black dogs and cats every once in a while. Therefore, witch. Wow. Would they have done this if they were white dogs and cats? This Probably is ridiculous. not. Ridiculous. So Elsa was given. A really fun way to test for witches during this time period called the Ordeal of Water. The Ordeal of Water. Yeah, have you ever heard of this? No. Or the Trial by Water? I don't... I want to be honest, AJ. I... You don't know anything don't know about... about, about late middle witches age. Witches or covens or witchdoms. I know nothing about it. Other than it's easy to dress up as one as a cop-out costume. All right. You heard the beep. My wife got a flat tire. We had to figure that out. Okay, but we're back. We're back. We're talking about the ordeal we never, of water. I mean, we never, we never left. left. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, you all just went along. beep yeah. for no reason. Yeah, beep. I do that. It's uh, my tick. Yeah. So. If you don't like it, then you're, uh, you're. <laughs> then get the fuck ableist. out. Beep. <laughs> Asshole. No. <laughs> okay, right. so ordeal of water is when they would tie a rope around you if you're suspected of witchcraft. Oh, yeah. And throw you into a lake. And if you float, you're a witch. If you sink, you're innocent, but you're also probably dead. And I don't know about you, but most humans float. (laughs) Like. (laughs) God. Most most people float. The best kind of witch is a dead witch. (laughs) Fuck off. It's so stupid. It's like the idea of. Well, a witch would be able to dodge this bullet. So I'm going to put this gun to your head and pull the trigger. And if you. If you dodge it, we know you're a witch and we'll kill you. If you don't, we'll know you aren't a witch and we'll hold a funeral for you. But at least we found out. Dude, there there was so one. stupid. I was looking through some of the ordeals through time to identify witches. One of them was like, you have to walk slowly over hot coals. If you don't get burned, you're a witch. And if you do get burned, we'll watch you for a couple of days. And if it gets infected, you're a witch. But if it doesn't. Then God intervened, and you're not a witch. Oh, my God, dude. And I am, I'd am i imagine that <laughs> yeah. all of the people with the ideas for this, like, they're just the dumbest folks. They're like, all right, I know how we'll find out if she's a witch. We'll throw her in the water with rocks in her pockets. And it's Perfect. just like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, so. God. A witch will float in the river. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it, it's pretty good. Another lady, Anne Lardstadter, was also tortured and survived the ordeal by water. So she floated, so therefore is a witch. Um, <laughs> and she claimed that Satan would tie the tongues of witches so that they couldn't con- uh, confess to being a witch unless they were exposed to the ordeal of water, which is a real, like, fuck you to anybody else. You could have said... Oh, they, they can't confess to being a witch unless you make them come real hard. Yeah. Or something. But no. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus just, Christ. You know, perpetuating that. So that's fun. God. And she also claimed that she flew with 40 other women and that Kirstie was their leader. Oh. If 
you remember her from a little earlier, uh, from just five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kirsty, at this point, just gets back home from taking the ship from Bergen. Okay. <laughs> like, she Jesus actually Christ. was in Bergen. Yeah. Her husband was like a, a merchant. She was in there for some reason, I think visiting family or whatever. So she steps off the ship, no, no idea vacation. what's going on. Yeah. yeah. And then arrested. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She is then tortured. Until she confirms everything everybody else has been saying. And, um, yeah, and, and she, uh, yeah, she even identified one of the males who was seen earlier who was never even questioned about it. <laughs> of course not. Men can't be witches. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. So, 11 women were burned at the stake, Kirsty being the last one. For this trial. Jeez. So we're already at over half the number of the Salem witches in just the first one. Okay. Goddamn. A couple years later. Fuck you do in Norway. Oh, uh, let me see how many years later. I don't know, like 20 years later or something. 51, 1651 through 16. Oh, I thought you were going to say 51, which is like, fuck. This is the second witch trial in this area in this time period. 1651 to 53. Yeah. Okay. There were a string of shipwrecks. And, you know, obviously it must have been those damn women causing it. It has nothing to do with nature. And uh, 17 women were tortured until they confessed, forced to name other women as accomplices, and then burned at the stake. It's just like the worst kind of pyramid scheme. It really is. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> refer three of your friends who need to refer three of their friends and will fucking burn all of you at the stake. Pretty much. Jeez. So just in this trial, they were too short of all the women killed in Salem. Combining them, oh. were well over. Holy shit. Now, let's fast forward 10 years. 1662 to 1663. This is, to me, a very interesting... 1666 is right around oh, the corner, so close. baby. So Dorothy Lorit's daughter oh. was questioned, uh, tortured, and uh, because she had previously been acquitted of rich of witchcraft, of passed, witchcraft, of witchcraft. Fuck you, base. No, that's a that's a that's a slip from the next character I introduced, <laughs> named Lorit's. <laughs> rich, rich. He's a rich bitch. Ew. He had two servants who were conveniently dead at this point, ah. who claimed to be bewitched by Dorothy, according to this guy. And the four witches who were, like, in her coven. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, they, 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 their servants, allegedly, before they died, claimed that the witches had tried to sink a ship, but the sailors prayed to God, so it failed. If I knew it that, if it was that easy, like, I'm sure all the previous shipwrecks could have been avoided. You know, that, that's the thing about Jeebus Cripes, is that, uh... Fickle. That, that's the Fickle thing. Man. That's the thing about John Froome, the real Jesus, mm-hmm. is that uh, sometimes all you need is prayer, and John Froome delivers. John Froome, <laughs> not pro- Jesus, abides, man. Fuck Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so Dorothy and the four accused witches underneath her were burned at the stake before after being tortured. Now they should have prayed. <laughs> So, yeah, they should have. So the, in the fortress, because these are all still at the Vardohus. Vardohus, sure. Vardohus. No, that's German. You always go German, but uh, shut the fuck up. So they were kept in a a completely impronounceable word that has like 15 letters in it. No. Do it. Do it's, it. I didn't write it down because it's too confusing. Boo. Uh, but it translates r- roughly to witch's hole. It's it's a dungeon. <laughs> it's a dungeon, basically, for witches in the fort. Oh, God. And. Uh, oh, no. One of the daughters. Uh, no, uh, two, two of the daughters of one of the burned witches previously. Eight years old were thrown into the witch's hole. Oh, because they confessed, probably under, you know, the psychological torture of being in a dungeon, that she and her sister transformed into cats and then escaped, got drunk with Satan, and then went back to the witch's hole for some reason. Oh, my God. See, I feel like the idea behind this is all they did was ask questions until they heard yes. 
like, is your name Christine? She goes, yes. And I, she admitted to being a witch. <laughs> I feel like they were so dumb back then. We caught her. No, you didn't. You just heard the word yes. Yeah. So my, my favorite part was that they, they said that they escaped to the basement to drink alcohol. And the priest, after hearing this story, said... Oh, that must be why the alcohol in the basement is always running out. It's the damn witches. <laughs> he covered his he ass. Just, he just runs out of nowhere. He's like, if someone was recently talking about the the liquor in the basement, it's the witches that are drinking it. It's those it's damn them. witches. He slurred. Exactly. 100%. <laughs> and he, he, the, the priest was... Um, Fuck, what's the term when you're on trial and you're talking? <sighs> he's giving, I don't know. I like, he, you're, right now. yeah. He's, I, fuck no, me. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he's basically, he's giving a statement. Yeah. Testifying. Testifying. There we go. Thank God. He, he's basically testifying that, well, these eight year old kids can't completely repeat the, the fucking Catholic, um catechism I, uh, cat, yeah. catechism or whatever it is like the the beliefs and <laughs> and just fucking that's this probably, whole fucking confusing that's probably thing. how he said it he goes those, those two fucking kids can't even they can't even recite the catechisms and fucking they're yeah. guilty and they're drinking they're my wishes. sacrament wine that's for the town mm-hmm. yeah that's <laughs> Fucking, yeah. It's too real. So this, I'm not sure how, Solve, which was the sister, also claimed that she got to go to a Satan Christmas party because they were locked up in the witch's hole over Christmas. So they just held a Satan witch's party. No, no. She Apparently she was able to fly away and escape. Oh, they turned back into foxes. Into cats. Oh. And flew. (laughs) Duh. They turned into snakes (laughs) to get through the bars and then turned into foxes to fly away. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, another kid, a 12-year-old named Marin Olstadter. To be who's, honest, mm-hmm. if I were in that dungeon and they, in Christmas past, I would say the same fucking thing. I'd be like, yeah, we actually just attended the party last night while you guys weren't watching us. Just to piss them off. No, it's while the priest <laughs> was watching us. We made They're eight. We made vigises. Vigises. We made a visage of ourselves. Visages, yeah. And we teleported to the party, and we mm-hmm. we fucked Satan. That's what I would say. What are they going to do? Kill you twice? <laughs> <laughs> so now a 12-year-old lady, Marin, whose mother and aunt had both just recently been burned for witchcraft. Like, the mother was burned, she moved in with the aunt, and then the aunt was burned. So she had nothing left, really. Ugh. No other family. She was arrested... And then confess that Satan gave her a guided tour of hell, <laughs> Fuck which is yeah. awesome. Nice. But my favorite part is she talked about like this river that had people in it and it was boiling hot and the people were screaming like cats is what she said. But Satan, to demonstrate how hot it was, just in case you didn't believe him, he put a ham into the river <laughs> and then pulled it out <laughs> the bone. fully cooked. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was hoping you just it. pull out the bone. Yeah, like a be cartoon better, yeah. ham. Thunk, thunk. <laughs> no, no. It was cooked this time. Oh, it was perfect. So she went on a boat ride and shared a honey ham <laughs> with, with Satan. Satan on Christmas Eve. Honestly, Hell it sounds yeah. nice. It's, it sounds like a nice date, honestly. Yeah. I don't think that I've ever had honey baked a ham romantic Christmas Eve date like that. Yeah. Satan knows how to woo him. He does. He, he knows how guy. to wine him and dine him. <laughs> With sacrament wine. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then we got... Oh, I didn't I didn't mention you, the name. You bring the, the bottle, I'll bring the ham. <laughs> yeah. So the eight-year-old sisters were Solve and Ingeborg. Ingeborg? Sure. Uh, yeah. There's another kid whose name was Ingeborg. Last name, Krog. Oh, ouch. Who was tortured. Um, did not confess. Damn, poor kid. Failed the ordeal of water. Figures. <laughs> well, now they know she's a witch. Uh uh-huh. Continued to not confess through torture. Solve, that little bitch, kept saying, No, no, of course this kid's a, a witch. She, she taught us how to do this, and she sunk a ship. Oh, God. And she taught us how to sink ships. 
Solva was a bitch. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah. So in- Ingeborg was cut with hot iron, like heated up iron, ah. and then they poured sulfur on her chest oh. until she died. This is the eight-year-old kid? Yeah. A different eight-year-old kid. Oh, a different one. I think okay. she was 10. She might have been 10 at this in- point. Oh, God Other damn. Ingeborg. Yeah. Uh, she never confessed. She was the only one that I found who just never confessed anything. That's impressive. And they ended up, like, putting her body on display. Shit. <laughs> and then burying her next to the gallows. Hey. <laughs> As <Wonderful>. one does. <laughs> oh, and I've got a quote from her, written from somebody else, somebody's oh, okay. journal during the time period. I cannot, and this is during torture. She said, I cannot lie on myself or on others. Oh no, such that they torment, oh, such can they torment the body, but they cannot torment my soul. Nice. Probably Welcome. sounds awesome in Norwegian, too. Oh, I'm sure. Damn. Now we move on to eight year old Karen. Oh, God. Uh, she oh. claimed that three witches tried to assassinate oh, one of the officials. Of course she did. Fuck with a, you. With a needle. Fuck you, Karen. Yeah, so those three women were just burned. You heard it here. Tortured first. and burned. Karens have been bitches since the 1600s. Yeah, at least. God. And there was, and then at this point in the assassinate trial, with a needle, the fuck out of here. Poison. Anybody knows that if you're gonna stab somebody with something with poison on it, it's a fucking toothpick. No, Go that's to the true. first goddamn episode we recorded. Was that the first episode? Yep. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, there there was a lot of he said, she said. Oh, that person, I saw them with a pet dog, and it was kind of dark colored. And that, so they're a witch, or and then someone gets tortured and said, "Oh, they helped me," and they're just like, "What the fuck? I didn't do anything." I love that they think that like any black breed is just oh, that that's a, a witch breed yeah. of dog, like mm-hmm. and cat. <laughs> it's just yeah. stupid as like a black lab. Yeah, Satan. Satan's oh my dog. god, hellhound, hellhound. Oh my god, hellhound. Yeah, and uh, Jesus one one guy got pardoned by the king. He actually got, like, a, a pardon letter from the king, but his wife was exiled in, basically, a dungeon until she died. <laughs> so, oh, not a great pardon. No. Um, because it didn't include his wife. Jesus Christ. So, there ended up in this it was just, short time period. He was just Henry the eighth her. <laughs> uh, 18 <laughs> women were burned, two were tortured to death. And one was sentenced to workhouse, which is basically indentured slavery oh, for the, until she died. Um, and then between these three trials, these were the three big ones. Between them, there were a couple smaller ones with a couple more uh, women. So that in this specific region of the Vordo, Vardo, 90 women were killed. In the country during this time period, 150 were for witchcraft. And I like... I really like to go into why was this happening? Like, what was setting it up? Let me make sure I got time. Yeah, I got plenty of time. Okay. Most of the officials in this region were not Norwegian. <laughs> they were Scottish or Irish or English or pretty much anything besides Norwegian. Mm-hmm. And they were raised on stories that, oh, evil comes from the north. Magic comes on the northern wind. So they figured the more north you were, the more evil you were. Oh, Jesus. The the men who were executed for witchcraft were all the Sami, Sami people, uh, like the indigenous. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all of the women, I, the majority, like besides two, were Norwegian. So this is huh. not affecting anybody who's not yeah. Norwegian. So anybody who came up with these officials, their family, um, you know, any immigration, anything like that didn't affect them. Oh my There's a God. little bit, a little bit of prejudice going on. If you didn't know that, just a bit. So I actually came across a manuscript from H. H. Lillenskjold. It was a district governor from the time period. Hey, look at you go! You butchered that yeah, one. Yeah, that one was bad. <laughs> my handwriting did not help. So he actually kept a journal of about 83 of these trials, and in 42 of them, so half. Mm-hmm. The trials explicitly stated that witchcraft was learned by eating it. <laughs> like, to get witchcraft, you had to consume it yeah. in food. Uh, 17 of these cases, it was bread. 23 of these cases, it was milk or beer. And then two of these cases, it was both. So in the milk cases, the milk, you knew it was magic milk because it had black specks in it. <laughs> and then they would drink it. 
And well, it's, it's just pepper milk. So then you I ever had pepper milk. Yeah, good old pepper milk, <laughs> warm pepper milk. <laughs> so I figured out that uh, most of the grain in this area was imported rye, because it could, okay. you know, it's pretty hardy. And you know what loves rye that spends a lot of time on a ship? Rats. Ergot. Ergots. I'm finally talking about ergot. Hey, we're doing it again. It's the second ergot referral episode. This yeah, season. but this time I'm actually going into it. Good. So, ergot is a fungus, mm-hmm. and it loves grain, and they're little black masses, like in the milk, potentially. And ergot, the fungus, produces ergotamine, which is a precursor to LSD. Actually, the guy who like discovered LSD was fucking around with ergot. Okay. And it's a major vasoconstrictor. So all your veins constrict. Um, it's uh, It causes massive hallucinations. Nice. Convulsions. No, not nice. Diarrhea, spasms, mania, and psychosis. Okay, so nice, not nice, 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 not nice. Gangrene. Eh, I don't know on that one. And then death, if you have too much. Fucking nice. <laughs> nice. So, the, you know, big theory is that a lot of this, especially with 42 of the 83 written cases, talk about consuming food. Like, these these people could have been just out of their mind, yeah, just... poisoned with ergot. Now, imagine you're Tripping in the balls. 1600s. You're a Scottish dude in Norway, northern mm-hmm. Norway, and there's just a lady tripping balls, seizing, um, like... Speaking in tongues. Her fucking pupils are somehow sticking out of her eye. Like, those things are huge. Complete psychosis, talking about things you don't see. Uh, She's she's seeing God himself. Demons. Like, she's seeing some shit. Yeah. She she took a look into the future. Yeah. So, to me, that, that makes a lot of sense. Especially because that is the main source of their grains. Mm-hmm. was highly susceptible to, to ergot. Makes sense. So, Or, hear me out. Demons. No. Oh. It was a CIA operation yes. where the CIA was trying to get rid of women in the 1600s. <laughs> yep, that, that was it. <laughs> they were slipping LSD into women's water supply. The sons of, it always comes back always to comes the back fucking to CIA. It was the CIA. And then I, I just... They've been you know. time traveling since NOM. <laughs> yeah. So I, I looked a little bit into like outbreaks related to ergot. Looks uh-huh. like the earliest one that there's any real documentation for, where they're pretty damn sure it's ergot, was in 857. Ooh. A long ass time. God damn. Um, but in the medieval ages, they called it St. Anthony's Fire. There are like nice. three diseases called St. Anthony's Fire, but this is one of them. <laughs> well, when you think that if a witch floats, they're a witch. You're probably not that great at naming yeah. different diseases. And then there, there's arguments saying, oh, there's no way it was ergot because if it was ergot, it would affect the entire household, not oh, necessarily one yeah, person. It's a good point. But again, the, the counterpoint to that is it is – even if you cook it, if you have like stomach ulcers, um, you're more likely to get it even if it's cooked um, because it can just enter the bloodstream that yeah. way. So, you know, maybe the men were off at sea doing their fishing. Lady eats some bad bread. She's got ulcers from malnutrition. Or... Waiting for her husband to come back with some fish, for fuck's sake. Get off your ass, Al. I, either that or uh, they're getting beaten so regularly they have fucking internal bleeding. Yeah, that's And ulcers from the stress, and it's getting into their blood system yeah. a little bit quicker. But I, I would... Yeah, but the, it would make sense. Case, yeah, if he's, like, if he's especially out with the on men the water, leaving. Yeah, and then sh- it wouldn't be the whole household getting it because the ho- whole household isn't there. So she eats yeah. some bread. He comes back the next day. She she starts tripping. Yeah, yeah, makes sense to me. There, cracked it. The witches got in. I Hot really damn. need to pee. Is that it? That's it. Holy shit! I know. I sped it up AJ, for you. Look at you. Sped it up just for you. I could have kept going. Well, we should probably should speed it up for your wife because you're going to have a lot of explaining to do for not being the one to go help her and pick her up. No, no. It's so. fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. That I mean, it makes sense. Fuck Salem. These these women were just trying to 
trip balls and have a good time. Fucking Satan. Dickhead husbands were out at sea. <clears throat> and along come the asshole incels in town that yeah. don't have a wife that think that humans don't float. <laughs> like, fucking Christ. Yeah, so, you know, thanks to our patrons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Patreon.com forward slash points of pressure. Honestly, this one was for you, Nordic Thunder. We have ourselves... Chair people. A new... Of the PP. Yeah, we have two chair peoples. You guys are going to outnumber us soon. Yeah, very hey, soon. If you're thinking about uh, subscribing to us on Patreon, outnumber us. Become the Dare board. <laughs> yeah, the board. Once it gets to three people, we'll refer we'll, to it yeah, as the we'll board. We'll just call it the board. So Mini D. Donnell and Nordic Thunder, thank you guys God, so much. Really, like, dude. We can't thank you guys Phenomenal. Enough. Um. Uh, then we got Abby, AJ's third nut, Lindo, D's nuts, Toddle Waddle, Dark Runner, Haley, and Casey McFacey. And to you guys, eh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Thank you guys a lot. It is yeah, greatly you, appreciated. You help keep the lights on. Yes, you do. Oh man. And uh, if you have any TV book oh we did get a book suggestion I yeah we did saw that email i did i have you read that one uh i've heard of it i need to read okay, it though. yeah we All should right. both read it we'll do a reading a book club <laughs> we'll do a live reading no we won't we'll do uh d's friday night book readings Ooh. and i'll just read mein kampf <laughs> no i will duh. but uh, yeah also phenomenal art that you picked up nordic thunder yeah like, incredible i so, fucking i want love that it. i want that in the studio uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, which is everyone except for AJ and I, uh, it's the hand of Adam, like the where the, he's going to touch the hand of God, the little finger, mm. but he's reaching out and he's touching the flying spaghetti monsters. <laughs> it's like phenomenal. One piece of spaghetti. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever have any book, TV, movie, music, suggestions, show ideas, any articles or whatever, you're like, hey, check this weird shit out. Yeah. By all means, reach out to us on Instagram or Twitter at Points of Pressure. If you need somebody to talk to, reach out. We're here. Yeah, we're here for you. We're not here for one another, but of we're course. here for you yeah, guys. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll catch you guys next Monday. And we'll see you then.